Good morning. This is Pam at Flower Patch Farmhouse Garden and this is the week of March 22nd and we're starting out beside the greenhouse. It's looking much better. We're getting there. This plant here in the front, that is a lilac that I started from cuttings and I'm trying to decide where I want to plant it. I had thought of planting it at the back corner there. You see a barrel by the greenhouse and I thought of putting it in there and it would kind of disguise the the woodshed in the back. We've got some, I've got my composter back there, the wheelbarrow succulent garden that I need to fix still. And I just thought maybe that would be a good way to mask that with that lilac because it'll get as tall as the roof of the, of the well, the greenhouse and the woodshed. And my plants that I put out here, I've got um, lots of stuff growing in front of the retaining wall there. It's all starting to come up. I got hollyhocks and uh, coneflower, which is echinacea, and some um, irises there. My husband's supposed to get out here and help me tie up that rose. And I have another rose planted in front of the hen house, and that is uh, my test Uberville. It's a David Austin rose. It's a real pretty red, and it's very hardy in a hot spot, so that's why I have it for there. And you see down in my secret garden, my back garden area, um, things are greening up. The irises are really shooting up with the warm weather we have, along with a lot of weeds. And let me walk along here a little bit. You can see a lot of green. Now that fabric garden raised bed thing there, I had, I think I mentioned it before, but I've got to remove that still. The cats have been using it as their litter box. I had lettuce planted in it. And so I was just deciding whether I wanted to refill that or just call it a day. So, yep, the alliums down there in the center, they're gonna be blooming soon. A pile of soil I need to spread out. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this black back garden fence area. I was thinking I need something evergreen like maybe some type of bush or that I could prune up and make like a living wall. I did get a evergreen clematis or clematis to plant on it. And I'm not sure that's gonna fill the bill, but we'll see. I'd like to have it be like a privacy fence. I have also thought I've gotten those old bamboo pieces that you roll out and you could just put up against it. And that way, instead of looking through the fence at my neighbor's back, I would just be looking at a pretty bamboo fence. And underneath my garden bench there I have some rose cuttings I'm starting. Um, these were are a vintage rose that I got from a fellow garden lover on Instagram and they didn't root well the traditional way so I was trying this is another way that you do it outside it's in the shade um, and it's for some that are tougher to root and they they don't like the heat, this is a way that we can get them to root. And those poor little alliums down there got zapped with the freeze, so that's why they're kind of looking a little sad. And we're coming up beside my studio cottage to the side garden. Yes, I still have got to right that wheelbarrow there that fell over. Last week I was just spent running all week and I didn't get anything done out here. This is just to show you the growth of things. Now I thought this tree peony was dead, but you can see right there that it is sprouting, which I'm thrilled with. I need to put more soil in here and uh, then it'll give it a little more help. Lots of things greening up, lots of thinning I need to do. I'm going to plant some, I'll transplant some roses over to this wall here at the base of these climbing roses. The side garden. More of it, more of a closer up. My daffodils that did get smashed by the snow are doing just fine. They're looking spray. The sunshine the last few days has been tremendous for them. Some window boxes, these violas had gotten quite sad looking. They got a fungus, a black like fungus on them. And now I put them down here to catch rainwater and the snow, and now they um, 
are perking up. I can put them back on my rail. You'll notice right here, sunflower sprouts is from the bird seeds, the blue jays, stellar jays. They hide their sunflower seeds. And we're coming up to the front. This dilapidated, but great working compost bin is going to come down and I'm going to turn that all over. See my creeping phlox is starting to bloom. I've got the really bright pink and then the lavender. I had a lot more of the bright pink, but the lavender seems to have overrun it. And more irises and I've got some, I'll show you, violets, sweet violets coming up. Over here, I'll show you my latest acquisition. I got some bush peonies at Costco of all places. I, I love getting garden stuff at Costco. They have good quality and really good prices. In fact, I had gotten a lot of David Austin roses there when they used to carry them. So here along here is my sweet violets. And these really do smell sweet. I've got to get in here and clean up from the rose trimming, but they just make a pretty little ground cover. They can become a little vigorous, so you've got to stay on top of them. And I've got, that is, oh, snow, summer snow, oh, no, I can't remember what those are. They are not, oh dear, here, I'll show you. Those are so pretty, and I forgot the name of them. I'll remember, and I'll Put it on a photo of them. And the violas here. The grape hyacinths are doing beautiful. So things are coming along in a desperate need of me to get out here to clean up. But this week I should be able to do a little bit more. is the greenhouse and I still got my geraniums up here this pretty peachy colored one salmon pink I hope it's coming out salmon I can't tell in here it's so bright um I got it at Walmart it was four bucks and I should have got two I'm kicking myself and here some more that um more geraniums these are the red ones I took cuttings from and here's one of the this black um potato vine is one I overwintered in the house from last summer and just now looking it looks like it's got maybe some uh, bugs I need to spray it. I've got my um, three-in-one miticide neem oil stuff and I still haven't done my cuttings but I will go ahead and get them right here these are my dahlias like I said I got caught up in taking care of my computer so what was on my list this week did not get taken care of. And this is one of those, can you see that? Sorry, this is one of those lavender plants that busted from the snow, so I had to trim it off. And I've already got more growth coming right there. So it will be fine, just won't be as tall as it was. I was creating topiaries. I have a post on my blog that I will link to here on how I was making the lavender topiaries. I have three of them, so if one is not doing great, then it's not a big deal. Can you see down there? Here's some more plant starts. I, there's a lot of these I need to move out of here. And I'm slowly getting it cleaned up. This rack doesn't normally look this bad, but I was moving stuff out. And I'm gonna get some more seeds started. Sorry, this is from my chicken house light, and I need to get it reset up. I have a fan in here because it was so hot. And this shelf, see if I can step back far enough. I'm cleaning that off to put more trays of plants because a lot more seeds are coming up and I need to pot them up. And I would just put it out in the shade because it's been warm enough this week, but it's going to get much colder again. <clears throat> the next few days and the lows will be down into the 30s so I will just keep everything in here that is frost sensitive and that is the greenhouse in all its messy glory